What's going on there guys? Earthmaster here checking in on this Friday evening, December 18th, 2020 is the date 8.06 p.m. West Coast time and the latest quake on the globe, a 3.0, just striking up here right around the Idaho region there in that cluster of quakes there that we've been seeing over the past few months or so. Um, today, no stranger to earthquakes, that's for sure. Definitely uh, a lot of movement going on up there. Also 5.0 off the uh, Aleutian Islands area. We'll take a look at the uh, USGS map here and uh, kind of look at some of these other quakes that are taking place. A lot to talk about, uh, some volcanic activity, a uh, little article that was put out there from the USGS in regards to the uh, Kilauea volcano there in Hawaii. We'll check that out here in just a minute. But zooming into the earthquake activity here in Idaho, you can see the Sawtooth Fault System right over here. This is the area where we've seen quite a bit of earthquake activity oh, over the last few months or so although today and uh, over the last 24 hours we've seen a migration of quakes up here pretty good cluster Ooh, looking at about 10 15 miles or so to the northwest of the previous earthquake activity that we've seen um, so kind of uh, interesting movement migration of quakes here further away from the sawtooth fault system here but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that were out of the woods there for any type of potential larger quake up here around the Salmon River Mountains in Idaho. I'm sure it's beautiful country. I, I always wanted to go up around this area here. Uh, some rugged mountains for sure. Beautiful. But uh, a lot of earthquake activity taking place up there right now. Just within this vicinity, about 16 earthquakes. Uh, so we're going to have to watch this little area pretty closely here. I don't see any faults that are listed here from the USGS. Uh, but that doesn't mean there isn't any, but uh, kind of watching that. Uh, over here to the Pacific Northwest, a little bit of activity, microquakes around the Mount St. Helens region. Nothing big, just a little 0.4 at about 1.7 kilometers below the surface and some more microquakes taking place there deep on the uh, Seattle fault system right there. That's this bunch of lines right there. Just uh, kind of runs through Seattle. Very dangerous fault system, but for now, uh, some microquakes taking place there. Um, zooming in into Northern Cal. Pretty quiet. A little explosion, it looks like, or some type of uh, query blast there around Shasta Lake. Not for sure what's going on there. A little earthquake out here south of Eureka. 3.9 on the uh, scale there. Not a big one, but uh, I'm sure... Uh, folks may have felt it. Of course, the depth on this, about 25 kilometers, kind of deep there, along the uh, close to the Cascadia Megathrust area. That's this section right down in here that extends into the uh, North American Plate, or I should say underneath it there, uh, where some big earthquakes can no doubt take place. Some movement along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault as well, a couple twos around the Soledad region there. And also some uh, a little bit further down as well along the San Andreas Fault. See a little swarm of activity out here off the main fault systems here. This is the San uh, Jacinto Fault System. And of course you got the uh, San Andreas Fault over here, the darker red line. Little uh, cluster of quakes out here in the desert. I guess this is the desert out here around the uh, some Indian reservation. A little cluster, you can see that. Pretty uh, notable quake sequence taking place there uh, looks like the largest they had was a 2.0 not for sure what's going on out there in that area of the state taking a look at the satellite i'm not seeing any type of fracking activities uh, but who knows what's going on out there along the uh, indian reservations out there uh, like i say i don't see any i don't see any uh, fracking at all that i can tell uh, and of course once again no fault systems on this map but like I said it doesn't mean there isn't any uh, that's out there you can kind of see a linear type line here of movement although the main cluster taking place in that reservation there is still activity just to the southwest here that we're kind of watching as well uh, some so definitely some notable movement down there taking place no major movement down here in the um, Brawley seismic zone or the Imperial fault a couple small earthquakes there you can see that little cluster of quakes there near Imperial. About five quakes under 2.1. Uh, 
as far as activity up around the Aleutian Islands there, we did have that five-pointer. That's about the only large one, or at least moderate-sized one out there over the last day. And the rest of the Pacific Ring of Fire looks moderately quiet. No major deep movement to report out there. And of course, uh, no major earthquake activity as of yet. Uh, zooming in there to the big island of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the quakes here real quick. As you can see, uh, we'll zoom into the uh, Kilauea Summit area or the uh, crater area. You can see some microquakes and whatnot taking place there. A couple uh, more sizable quakes, not not anything big. 3.1 there, just outside of the uh, that little crater area. But also, you can take a look at this uh, movement down here to the southeast as well, kind of kind of chiming into this region. Uh, here's a little one here, a little 2.2. Is an article, uh, like I mentioned, put out from the USGS as of yesterday. I did post this up on my Facebook page. Um, was going to make a video last night, but I just got too tired. Decided uh, uh, sleep was pretty important, which it is, right? December 17, 2020 was the date yesterday. Um, they talk about, uh, oh, earthquake activity there around the Kilauea. And uh, small but notable. Magma intrusion at Kilauea Summit. You can see this little map right here. I'll go ahead and click on this. This is a little bit better detail. These are GPS stations here. These arrows there indicating the GPS movement, the length of movement, and also the direction of the movement. Of course, anything coming in from uh, from the southeast would ultimately push land and GPS uh, in those directions that these arrows are pointing. Uh, the intrusion area where these uh, where the magma took place is inside of this green box here. Um, here's a little uh, detailed description here. Map showing locations of earthquakes at Kilauea Summit on December 2nd, 2020. Uh, motion detected by HVO's GPS monitoring network is shown as green arrows, okay? That's these arrows that I was talking about there. Uh, the length of the arrows corresp corresponds to the amount of motion and the direction it points shows the direction of motion. Earthquakes are plotted as circles with color corresponding to the time of day they occurred. The size scaled according to earthquake magnitude. The green box shows the minimum size of the magma intrusion as constrained by ground deformation. The intrusion model shows opening of a rectangular surface with its top edge to the south-southeast that trends downward to the north-northeast uh, at an angle of about 40 to 60 degrees, black lines or local roads. So yeah, a little bit of um, you know interesting movement there, magma intrusion there. This is a very active volcano and it will be no doubt in the future. As of right now, the Kilauea volcano uh, alert level, I should say, is at green. But of course, it could, this could change, you know, very drastically. All it takes is a, uh, a pretty large earthquake to get stuff moving down there, and, and voila, you got, uh, you know, some major movement in the near future. But right now, it's green. The threat potential, obviously, very high, and uh, that will be a uh, uh, worry in the future, no doubt. But for now, we're kind of keeping an eye on it. Uh, the earthquake activity is still popping off out there. Uh, watching for some deep movement, which also would indicate further. Um, magma coming up to the surface but uh, you know aside from a few deeper ones way down south here most of this activity is relatively shallow but we are still watching that pretty closely I think uh, a lot of folks are uh, Yellowstone National Park as far as the seismograph stations here going I'm thankful for the folks getting this site back up and running the is this thing on dot org website uh, let's see. Wow, it sounds like they're racing outside here. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of movement, folks. A couple small microquakes, it looks like, right there on the, uh, ooh, the Pitchstone Plateau region. Other than that, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> kind of picking up a cough. Other than that, just a few small, small microquakes here, folks. Uh, tremor map. Uh, let's go ahead and see if these guys are active. It says loading. Kind of taking a long time to load. It shouldn't. Relatively odd right there. Normally this thing pops right up. I don't believe it's my internet. No, because other pages are loading quickly and perfectly. Let's see if we can uh, refresh this. 
Wow, look at that. Yeah, kind of weird. See that my internet. It's definitely not my internet because when you click on uh, any other sites there, it's just voila. But something going on here with the PNSN. Uh, with the PNSN seismic network there along the Cascadia subduction zone. Not for sure. Let's check yesterday, see what's going on there. I'm not getting anything. A little odd, that's for sure. Uh, I did want to check Mount St. Helens there, see if that... Uh... Okay, what is going on there? I'm not getting any stations to pop up. No, no live, uh, no live seismograph stations. There, you guys see that? Normally, you click on a uh, uh, an area such as Mount Rainier, you'll see black triangles, red triangles indicating the uh, seismograph stations and GPS stations, but nothing. Zip zero. What is going on there? Ah, oh, very odd. All right. Well, I guess it's just. <laughs> Not meant to, uh, not meant to be seen at the moment. All right, well, uh, we'll jump off here, folks. Uh, enjoy your Friday night. I like to stay home on Friday and Saturday nights. In fact, all nights. <laughs> I just don't, I don't get out as much as I used to. You know, probably have something to do with getting wise, right? No, really, no need to go out and get uh, all crazy. But of course you're into that. If people are into that, that's no biggie. You know, people do what they like to do, and that's... I like to stay in bed and and uh, get on my computer. That's about it. So yeah. Anyway, folks, the article, if you do want to check it out, you can find it on the USGS.gov website in regards to Kilauea Volcano. Also, it's on my Facebook page, uh, The Earth Master. If you haven't liked the page yet, please go check it out. Uh, just got to type it in the search bar, The Earth Master. And uh, I do post re uh, relevant articles on the page. Also, if you have any email suggestions, any comments or whatnot, go ahead and get a hold of me on uh, earthmastermail at gmail.com. Earthmastermail at gmail.com is my email. And uh, that's normally the quickest way to get a hold of me if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, any questions, or anything like that. Feel free to send me an email. In the meantime, folks, we're out of here. Have a good night. Please stay safe, and we will chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.